Now I can start to add my turbulence and I want to use the pop force. Pop force, I can add here and I can call that my wind direction. And that is uh, say it's my wind direction. Also I can use uh, here the wind direction, but uh, usually I prefer to split because uh, I prefer split uh, maybe this effects to from this effects. And here I can say it's my maybe because here I can show you, okay, X is that direction. Maybe that direction, maybe it's, uh, it's one. Also, I can maybe fix uh, the one camera. So we can come back here. We can start to say that is six. And I want fix the camera like this. So we can here and Alt and Control. And I want to use camera here. We can also move at that like this it's okay and this is my camera view so it's fixed so every time i use i i working i don't think it's my camera where it is where it is not i i say okay this camera is here and this is out of camera and so it's not important to see that and here my direction for example it's x and z, x uh, uh, is that direction and z that, so we can say maybe it's one. And now we can see what's happening. Okay. Maybe we can also move it a little bit. My minus one, we can see what's happening. minus two okay and that is my my snow and minus 2.5 you can see what's happen if uh, the best way or not yeah it's some it's a battle so we can see how to fix that problem and here we can uh, now we can see we can apply on the wind we can apply some uh, noise some noise it's uh, with the amplitude if i have the fixed amplitude for example one my amplitude is regular in the time every time okay but you see it's create more variation and um, another things we can do it it's uh, animation also that element but uh, i don't want animate with for example the expression like uh, dollar t or uh, dollar fps it's the frame rate you can use it you can see also is more crazy here now i want to use for example the motion effects here we have a motion effects motion effects it's the way for create uh, for example, the cycle, the cycle with the offset, and the noise effects, the limit, the speed, etc., etc., etc. This is is create the um, the chop, and oops, now it's create that effects is not what I want. I can delete that. Come here, and you see here we have the network for motion. The network form action with the same icon you can have here in the channel. The channel is uh, the, the network is dedicated for create motion graphic effects inside for working with the animation and create the, the nice motion graphic effects inside Udemy. And here we can create the motion effects. We can use, for example, noise, noise effects. Noise effects. You can see it's create the channel with uh, this is the seed, the period, and you can set in that the amplitude. And here you have here the effects. You can see it's a change in the time. In this way, if I come back on my pop net, uh, you see here your amplitude is changed 
in the time. And sometimes it's zero, sometimes it's one, and sometimes it's minus. And uh, maybe it's uh, that is could be good. Also, we can open more room here, and we can try. For example, we can see how to manage that, how to create also the exponential because maybe I want uh, only in. Uh, positive and not negative only here it's negative here it's negative and here it's negative but you can work on that for create your effects you can also is multiply that it's uh, you can see how much it's multiplied for you you can say it's true for example for free periods it's how much time in time big variation or not more variation i want like this and here the type of your noise maybe alligator in this case it's uh, so good transform and what is the advantage to use for example the motion and the motion is create is that here so we can put that here nice in the same also if you want you can change the color for say hey this is connected between that great advantage here is create the, the box the brown box you can go here uh, left mouse button right mouse button and in motion and you can enable and disable these effects you can disable you can check you can see it's disable your effects you can enable is enabled so this is very comfortable because if you don't like that you don't become crazy to delete but you can uh, just uh, uh, uncheck the little box and you can uh, to not on off your elements when uh, your effects when you want. So it's uh, very fast to use that and very comfortable also. You can see that now, and now it's working. Maybe, maybe we can also go here and here you can see it's my noise, noise. Here there is the noise, amplitude, other the noise. And here the disable also for setting you can jump here and you can uh, right mouse button motion effects edit parameters so you can have my my effects you can uh, edit or for wind or you can uh, go here enable and motion effects enable noise and here you can working on that maybe i want it's uh, five amplitude so in this way you can see what's happen now okay now it's working like i want maybe it's not more clear because maybe that is too big so we can go here geometry we can say it's pixel and you can see that is the effects we have or we can also come here and we can decrease my effects like 2000 so maybe you can see it's more clear the effects you can have here okay i prefer maybe in this case okay geometry points have the big points but have the lot maybe i can use that in the second moment and uh, with that we can create uh, the effects of my noise with the amplitude so the amplitude is moving with the effects of my motion here motion chops i have here but i want uh, here working on the the scale of the sw the swirl scale i remember you if you go here you have the the grid and with the grid you can see how is working that effects here we can say for example we can also apply the different scale
and we can have the different scale, for example, in uh, this case. Pulse, it's very nice because it's in the time, how much time we can change this uh, element. Okay, you can see that. The turbulence, I want is more turbulence, so I can say it's five, for example. And if you want to uh, assign more variation, you can assign more variation with the offset. You can assign more variation to your element. And also in this case, I want to try with $t for one axis. 